In this video, you will learn how to archive old classes and create new classes, remove graduated students and upload new students, and archive former teachers and create new teacher accounts. In order to start your new school year, you will need to set up at least one new grading period. A grading period is a segment of time used to organize classes. For example, a grading period can represent a school year, a semester, a quarter, or any other term your school may use. Select grading periods in the left sidebar. Click the Create Grading Period button at the top of the page. In the pop-up window, select the appropriate school year for your new grading period. Select the desired numerical grading period. Then select the start and end date for your grading period. If you would like to copy your student roster from a previous grading period, select the checkbox to the left of the desired grading period. Click the Create Grading Period button to create the new grading period. Select Classes in the left sidebar to view all active classes at your school. Once a class has been completed, you may want to archive that class so it no longer displays on the active class list. Hover over the gear icon to the right of a class name and select Archive from the drop-down menu. The class will be moved to the Archived folder accessible by selecting the Archived tab at the top of the classes page. Alternatively, you can archive all classes in a grading period by hovering over the gear icon at the far right of the gray bar that displays the school year and grading period. Select Archive All in GP from the drop-down menu to archive all of the classes in the selected grading period. To create classes at your school, select Classes in the left sidebar. Hover over the Create New Class button and select Create Multiple Classes to create many classes at once. Select the appropriate school year and grading period from the top of the page. For each class you would like to create, enter the class's name, grade level, subject area, and teacher. Click the Submit button at the bottom of the page to create the classes. Alternatively, you can add classes to the school individually on the Classes page by hovering over the Create New Class button and selecting Create One Class from the drop-down menu. On the following page, select the appropriate school year and grading period. Enter the class's name and choose the desired grade level, subject area, and teacher. Click the Submit button to create the class. To add students to your school roster, select Students on the left sidebar. Hover over the Add Students button and select Upload Roster CSV to upload many students at once. Click Download a CSV template here to initiate a download of the required template file. Enter each student's information onto a separate row of the CSV file, ensuring you do not modify or delete any information in the column headers. It is not necessary to fill in all of the cells. Only the student ID number, first name, and last name columns are required. Save the file to your computer as a CSV. 
If you're using a Mac computer, you will need to be sure you save the file as a Windows formatted CSV. Navigate back to the Roster Upload page and select Browse. Locate your saved file and click Upload CSV to upload the students. On the following page, you will see your CSV information loaded into a grid. Review each student's information for correctness, ensuring the correct data is displayed in each column. If you notice any errors, click No, Cancel to correct the errors in your CSV file, resave the file to your computer, and upload the revised roster. If everything is correct, click Yes, Add Students. Alternatively, you can add students to the school roster individually on the Students page by hovering over Add Students and selecting Add Student from the drop-down menu. In the pop-up window, enter the student's information, including at least the student's ID number, first name, and last name. Click the Add Student button to add the student to your school roster. To see the active students in your grading period, select Students in the left sidebar. Students whom you have added to the school roster in a previous grading period will remain on the school's roster until they are manually dropped from the school. These students will appear on the Students page for grading periods in which they are enrolled in classes. If you would like to add students from a previous grading period to the Students page of your new grading period, Simply add those students to classes in the desired grading period, and then the students will appear on the Students page. Students added to the school roster will remain on the school's roster and as contacts in in-grade messaging until they are dropped from all grading periods at the school. Dropping a student permanently removes the student's data from in-grade, so it is recommended that you create a backup of the student's grades prior to dropping the student. To create backup files of the student's grades, navigate to the Students page and select the grading period for which you would like to create a backup file. Select the student's name from the list. On the student's page, click on one of the classes in which he or she is enrolled. Select Gradebook in the left sidebar. Hover over the Print button and select Export Gradebook from the drop-down menu. This will initiate a download of the CSV file containing all student grade information and the selected class. It is advisable that you repeat this process for each class in each grading period in which the student was enrolled prior to dropping the student. Once you have saved your backup files, navigate back to the Students page. Hover over the gear icon to the right of the student whom you would like to drop and select Drop from the drop-down menu. In the pop-up window, determine whether you would like to drop the student from the selected grading period or from all grading periods at the school. Click Drop Student to remove the student. If a teacher has left your school, but you still want to maintain access to that teacher's classes and grades, you should archive the teacher account. Select Teachers in the left sidebar. Hover over the gear icon to the right of the teacher's name and select Archive from the drop-down menu. Once archived, the teacher will no longer be able to log in to his or her in-grade account unless the account is activated by an administrator of your school. To activate a teacher's account, click the Archive tab. Hover over the gear icon to the right of the teacher's name and click Activate.
To create new InGrade teacher accounts for your instructors, select Teachers in the left sidebar. Click the Create New Teachers button. On the following page, enter each teacher's name and his or her email address. Click the Submit button at the bottom of the page to create the new teacher accounts. If your teachers have already been using NGRADE, they can link their existing NGRADE accounts to your new school account. At the bottom of the teachers page, you can find your school's secret teacher code. Provide this code to your teachers and they can add their existing accounts, including all their students, classes, and grades to your new school account.